called out a series opposed to the regime. Where Russia, Syrian, and allied forces have driven hundreds of thousands from their homes. The offensive comes as two films about the Syrian war are nominated for Best Documentary in Sunday's Academy Awards. One of them is For Sama. And we should warn viewers now, there are graphic images that are difficult to watch. As part of our ongoing arts and culture series, Canvas, Nick Schiffer reports that For Sama is about the depth of the war's destruction and the triumph of love. The darkest days of the Syrian war spared no one. Not the children who lost their lives as they played. Not the boys who lost a brother. Not the camera woman behind the lens documenting horror and confronting her own mortality. I fell just because I know that I will be next, killed or dead or injured, and I want to do my responsibility for these people. Wa'a el Kateb was the camera woman. Hamza el Kateb, the doctor, who became her husband. My first baby son. Her name is Mimi Lestan. Sky we love, sky we want. Without her forces, without bombing. And Sama, their daughter, for whom the film was made. In this war zone, they create a family, but Dad is one of the last remaining doctors in Aleppo, and this new life is surrounded by death. Surrounded by scenes of the unimaginable, Wad films as a mother realizes her son is dead and carries his body through the street. For everyone who was, was living in a war zone, you always had the scenario like, what I will do if my, my child was killed? What would I do if my wife was killed? What she will do if I was killed? In my head, it's always like, being like I left this scenario that Sama is killed. Wad is killed so many times. It didn't start out so fatalistically. Wad filmed the hope of the beginning of the Syrian revolution in 2011. The pride these Syrians felt in taking on Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and the innocence of a doctor who became an anti-regime activist and a camerawoman who helped him. That two years of the peaceful demonstration, it gave us like a lot of hope to not just like to change our life, but also something like we want to change the whole world. And then while I gets pregnant, she says Sama represented hope even before she was born. So many times when I was getting out uh, to film some people or some stories outside when the destruction happened or any shelling happened and I can feel Sama, you know, like that feeling of the life that I have in, in, inside my body, which, you know, like stood against every feeling, every bad feeling we, we've seen around. But the Russian Air Force and Syrian bombardment on Aleppo were relentless. Their hospital is purposely bombed killing 53 of their co-workers and friends. Wad says at one point in Aleppo, there was no time to grieve. And surrounded by war, the children are not all right. Wad films his children playing a bombed out bus. When I asked her about the bus she was painting, like, what happened to this bus? <laughs> she said plaster bomb. And she's four years old, you know, and it was plaster bomb. So it's just like so complicated how they understand what's happening, how they uh, adopt to that situation. Osama. They want the film to become a wake-up call. Last weekend, they won Best Documentary at Britain's equivalent to the Oscars. Thank you so much. We're living for the day that accountability will happen. Like, we're fighting for this to happen. We're people are shedding the light about what's going on. Like, like the film itself is like a document that shows all the war crimes that was committed and like Wild also has more footage and all the citizen journalists that filmed all the war crimes that, that, that were committed in Aleppo and all over Syria in the past like eight to nine years. Today, the darkest days of this war continue in Idlib where the Syrians and Russians are trying